Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. A girl shared this story on TikTok. She and her roommate swiped right on the same guy, but didn't tell him just to see what he'd do. I got a little story for you children. I live with my best friend, and our favorite nighttime activity is swiping through dating apps together. And when I tell you my friend came across this f- man, she said that he was super sweet, so I said, hey, can I match with him too? And she said, sure, why not? And when I matched with him, he did a complete 180. He starts copying and pasting the exact same text to me and my best friend, not knowing that we're literally sitting on the same couch. And I go, wow, do you say this to all the girls? And he said, no, babe, just you. <laughs> just out of curiosity to see huh. what his personality is really like, we scheduled dates on the exact same day, different times but same day if we weren't roommates and if she didn't know at the time i was supposed to meet with him she would have had no idea that she only had 30 minutes with this guy so if you're trying to pull a fast one over my best friend you picked the wrong girl I, uh, there's a lot to unpack on this one right now yeah there really is i love the copy and pasting thing that he was doing yeah. that's a guy <laughs> thing to do it's like i don't got time yeah. to come up with another yeah. set of words to impress another girl I'll just use what i use with this other girl it's efficiency i don't see anything wrong with that no i don't either it's very i mean i understand how women can be upset about that or some people who think they should be special but it's to- i totally get it from a dude's perspective it's like look I'm just trying to find somebody who resonates with these words, and I'm going to use the same words because they're mine. I thought them through. I I made sure that there's good English. Yeah. I mean, somebody may not be impressed by these words, but when the one person is, then I know that's the one for me. So I use the same words. Makes complete sense to me. In fairness, Emma, what are are the odds? Like He's talking to two girls that live together, and they're both just being like, hey, see if that's the only only girl that he says that to. And he's like, of course, what are you going to say? No, I just sent that to some other girl that's pretty hot as well. Same exact text. Yes. I mean, I, they, I think they're really clueless. I mean, I am not liking these girls at all. Why wouldn't he swipe I'll on both of them? I don't dislike her. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, you know what? I know she's a cute girl, but I would have to hearing no, her in this whole thing. I'm done with her. You're just done with her. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Like, I'd swipe her into the backyard. But also, like, he, what he, he only gave a, there. a half hour window? I think that's the only thing I have a problem with this dude. It's like, really? Half hour? So what are you going to do if you're having a good time? Like, cancel the other one? At least either separate them on different days or put a couple hours in between at least. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you never I, know I, what I will happen. Yeah. I can appreciate that, Vic. I, I know people speed date, though, but, yeah, but I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. 30 minute window. Yeah, I, I, I don't like that part. That part's yeah. stupid. Oh, well, I, I mean, at that point, if it's know. such a bad date, I mean, you're just giving them 30 minutes, so you just get out. But what if it's a great date? You have no chance for an encore. Well, you schedule, you know, you leave them wanting more. You no, go, hey, I mean, listen, this is fantastic. I have other plans, but I would love to get back. I'd love to see you no, again. Based on my past dating history back in the dating days, I don't want to leave anyone wanting more. I want, if they want more, I want to give it to them. Yeah, we're living in a fast-paced <laughs> world of online yeah, dating, Steve, man. Give it to them. Right. If you want more, I'm here to give you that more. Well, exactly. I was, here's the I, thing. I got 30 minutes, and then more is over. This guy seems swipeable. So he might, you know, Steve, you and I may not have been oh, very swipeable, but he was swipeable <laughs> by both of them. Yeah. Swipeable means hot. Exactly. Yeah, so who are these girls like, oh, he's such a blank. And it's like, you both swiped him because you thought he was a... Just shut up.
<laughs> I mean, seriously. I mean, uh, come on. And, you know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I just, well, there's somebody else's problem. Uh, it's very true. That is definitely somebody else's problem. Yeah. They should just both show up at the same time. Be like, yeah. Surprise. <laughs> I feel like they're comp- the one thing I, I am mad about the girls is the fact that they're complaining that he's copy and pasting. I just realized how many times you're on a dating site and guys will just stop talking to you oh. and it just stop. Like, it's just I think they just kind of get bored with the small talk, which I get. I get bored with the small talk, too, but it just trails off. At least this guy's responding. Yeah. <laughs> At least I mean, he has that going would, for him. It's do you think he has crap. like a notes page that just has like stock answers for everything? I would. I would. Of course you would. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. I'd have, you know what I, I would, would I wish, I don't wish you were single because that would just be a nightmare. But like, I, I and also, what are you talking I, about? I wouldn't would, would oh, wish yeah. divorce you on you. About? Pure nightmare. Wow, but you guys have no face. Part of me does wish, I would love to like experience BJ on, in the wild. I like, think you forget like that. What uh, dating life would be like for BJ. You forget I make women cry at the, at the drop of a hat. So right. I, I have the power. But yeah, but I don't know if that's a power you want to share on your Tinder profile. Like, I'm BJ, love to make women cry. I don't know how many people are going to swipe on. Well, probably someone would. Some like you someone's know. into that. Oh yeah. yeah, there are people into everything, Steve. Some emo girl is like, yeah. I love crying. Yeah, this and guy, Danny. I got daddy yeah. issues. And I love crying. Danny, Danny, I got the job. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, daddy. Danny has daddy issues and loves to cry. Yeah, she yeah. checked both the boxes. Danny would swipe right in a heartbeat if I was on Tinder. Once again, how oh, I got yeah. the job. I'm every. I'm everything he needs. A Tinder thing. I don't even know what that would be. That like. Tinder thing, these kids. It's the whole the whole world of dating right now is, it seems insane. Dude, it is it's, nuts. Yeah. You and I you and I miss that. I'm glad I missed that. It's fun <laughs> to live like vicariously through some of my friends to hear their stories. But usually by the end of their stories, I just I, I really appreciate that I don't have to deal with those stories. Yeah. Like personally. I feel like I'm getting too old for the online dating because it just drives me insane. Because I'll, I'll go back every now and then. I'm like, maybe it's different. Maybe, you know, it'll be good this time. And it never is, especially with COVID. You think it would be a little easier? Like, hey, I can't really meet up with you. So we only have talking at the moment. And then they don't really want to talk. It's like, okay, well. Well, yeah, I don't know how you're you... supposed to really do anything if you don't have a conversation. I mean, right. uh, I, mean I want to say some good old cyber sex. Exactly. I'm Ooh, like, you need to talk that. to me so we can get on with that oh. at the very least. I mean, a lot of these dating apps now have the option to, if you both agree on it, you can do video chatting within the app. Oh. Ooh. And so yeah. I'm like, exactly. But you, you need to say more than, hey, what's hey, up? Hey, what's up? See, you need Surprisingly. to copy so Hey, what's up, dong pic? Isn't that how it works these days? Usually, yes. Okay. But so they're just making sure I got this right. They're getting kind of lazy. <laughs> I'm not even getting the dong pic on the third one. Don't send me dong pics. I'm kidding. You just opened up. Yes, I was kidding. <laughs> That's why the, the copy and paste guy is definitely a great guy. He's, he's doing more than, hey, what's up? He's put some thought into this. He's organized. Yeah, and uh, you know, I mean, if you know men, you know that, look, once we create a masterpiece, we're going to use it until the very end. Once we create a masterpiece. Yeah, you know, a great opening line thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. The fact that he called her babe, I bet you say this to all the girls. Yeah, I, I think I'd be honest to go, you know, you're absolutely right. I do. I, I do say this to everybody because I'm because not everybody responds, and I figure you did. That means you must like what I said. Well, it was he was like fully honest. Like, I do say that to all the girls. I'm hoping it's going to work and get me laid at some point. I wonder what that would be if she said if, if he said, and look, I'm not going to lie to you. I have two dates scheduled that day. I just, you know, I, if it's not working out, I don't want to waste both of our times. I mean, at that point, you got to love this dude. See, that's what I, I'm going to be honest, man. If I'm if I'm single, I will be honest, man. You shocking. Yeah. I, as a matter of fact, I'm going to actually set the bar low for myself. I'm going to put a picture up that's not that flattering. And I'm going to, you know, I'm probably going to say I weigh a little bit more than I do. I'm shorter than I am. That way, when you meet me, you're going to be like, wait, you're not as, because I've seen that work in the past for me, where people go, wow, you're not as fat as you say you are. Set up BJ's Tinder profile. Well, I think we have to get my wife's permission for us, you know. I mean, mean, I'm sure she'll be fine with it. Oh, sure. She might even swipe on you. Yeah, it's very, well, now let's not get crazy. Is there a couple dating site somewhere? Yeah, right? Probably. I do see that on Tinder sometimes. Like, hey, we're a couple. We're looking for a third or a unicorn. There you go, BJ. You can I'm looking that. for a unicorn now. <laughs> unicorn yeah. is a very—it's an attractive girl who is a part of the uh, the couple, if you will. Oh, why, why, why a unicorn why? was a guy with no drama that's like in his thirties with no kids? I mean, that too. That. That's a TV show. Yeah, that's what I mean, though. Isn't the TV show <laughs> that they call him the unicorn because they don't exist? And that same thing, hot oh, chick my. who's willing to be kind of the swinger, be the third. Oh, that's what I thought. I was going to say, where's the horn? At least the guy has a horn. I mean, no. if you will. Where's the horn on the girl? Really? Well, it's detachable, BJ. Yeah, I see. Oh, the detachable horn. Yeah. All of a sudden, I'm getting scared. I don't think I want the detachable mm. horn anywhere near me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, unicorn, ladies. We've learned something new today. <laughs> when I was in college, a unicorn was the girl that would just talk back to me. <laughs> 
<laughs> Steve, you're really not painting a very good picture of your early years. I know I get it. This, this really is the sad help music. You sure you don't have that? I mean, you were really basically oh, saying you're kind of a loser. Laugh. Yeah, yeah. Do we have sad unicorn music? Is this Here, we Here it is. <laughs> the story of Steve Mix. Aww. No Gosh. one would talk to him. No one would swipe him. There wasn't even a unicorn out there to vomit. <laughs> The unicorn was the girl that was just willing to get a free meal by hanging out with me for an hour. There you go. Red Lobster, too, man. I was classy. Oh, oh nice. Whoa. Right? You gave with a like, biscuit? I was like, what's up with all these bitches? They don't want to go to Red Lobster? <laughs> Maybe it's because you call them bitches. Whoa. Yeah, that could be it. And by the way, now, Steve, <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore where you take them because now I'm hearing that everybody has to split the bill. Like, that's the new way to go. Like, it's expected now that when you go on a date, you will split the bill. No more is expected for one person to pay the more. I love the other. these things because it's like, has every, this is not universally agreed upon. You know that you're going to go out to, uh, to someone and be like, I read a study. It said we split the bill. And that woman's going to be like, I like a traditional man. Now I'm not happy. You know what I mean? There's always going to be, there's going to be someone that's going to expect that you're going to be paying because that's just how it is. Well, that would be me. I, right. I, I've always expected. You'll pull out the story. Look, on my phone, it says. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to say that story's fake news. I mean, I'm not splitting the bill with anybody. And it doesn't have to do with dating. It's just if I go out, man, you're buying. Oh, yeah? Is that how it is? I, sorry, I read a study. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry, Steve. <laughs> oh, man. There is, uh, but you know what? Speaking of dating, I guess uh, there's a language learning app called uh, Babbel, and one of their linguists just released a new report on the new dating terms that have come out of the pandemic, and uh, we got seven of them right here, and uh, I love this new one. I don't know. This could mean a lot of things. Uh Uh-oh. It's called zumping. (laughs) Now, zumping... What do you think this means? I will tell you this. It involves... virtually on Zoom. That's what I thought, yeah. I was going to say, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Yeah, uh, it's, you're, you're hey right. Hey, you would like to zump with me later? Here's my passcode. Yeah. It's, uh, it is about Zoom. You're absolutely right. But it's nothing as pleasurable as you guys think it is. But it's uh, what, rhymes with, what rhymes with zumping. Humping. What rhymes with humping. Pumping. <laughs> He's not wrong. Okay. Um... No, this is the bad thing. This is when person, people don't <laughs> lumping, <laughs> grumping, look, jumping, no, look, grunting. All right, hold on. First of all, not grumping? everybody thinks that the R word's a bad thing. Okay, grumping? that you brought up. Yeah, nobody thinks that. Not everybody's um, like you. They, yeah, they, they, some people great. like to you go to Hershey, enjoy, Pennsylvania. You guys enjoy your your brown bone karate. I'm just gonna s- skip that one. Oh, it's just. But remember, you know, don't uh, you know, don't limit people's fun because you just don't want to go to I'm Pennsylvania. I'm not judging. I'm just. Saying I feel like I you say. are. No, I have no, I have no judgment. If you want to do that, go do that. <laughs> do. Yeah, but look at you know, if you could see your face, it's not a very approving face of anybody doing anything like that. Well, it's just not my thing. I'm not I never said it should be your thing, but you're looking at it like... It's like you're trying to convince me to do something I don't want to do, but I'm not telling anyone not to do it. I, you know, but you're... you you're Danny like, came in today and said, hey, this is what I did yesterday. I'm going to be like, oh, get out of the room. <laughs> She'll be like, cool, good for you. I appreciate that. But see, your face is still disgusting. You're like, cool, good for you, but you look like you just had like a lemon. Well... <laughs> That's all I'm saying is your face says more than your words. I'm not saying you should have to do anything you don't want to do. But when you look at me like you go, I just had the worst meal ever when I told you something about rumping, you're going to be like, you go, I'm not judging. You kind of are, sir, with that face. No, I'm, I think I think we'll have to agree to disagree on this one. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. All right, so it's not rumping. It's not, it's not rumping. Humping, it's, it's a not bad grunting. thing. It's, okay, I'm just going to tell you. It's dumping. It's getting dumped over Zoom. Zumping. When you zump somebody, you're actually dumping them over Zoom. I would dump some if they use that term. Right. Oh, but you're okay if it's humping. If if it's humping, you love the term. Oh, I don't care what the term is if it leads to, like, you know, fun times. Okay, fair enough. Uh, These are, again, languages that have come out of the pandemic. Uh, This one here is called Corona Zoned. What do you think that means? You're Corona Zoned. That you're just a buddy that I could chat with because I'm bored and I can't actually see people because of the coronavirus. Well, yeah. Hmm. So you have nowhere to go, so you have no, no one to talk to. This person will do. It's better than nothing. I'll I'll zoom talk with you because you're thinking like friend zone. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, that makes sense. This says here when a physical relationship is delayed because of COVID fears, so you keep things virtual for longer than you would have in normal times. Oh, I imagine okay. getting together with somebody that you like. The friend zone is I don't want to be with you. The Corona zone is I want to be with you, but not right now because of Corona. Right, and we can't quarantine. Yeah, so it's time to zump Steve style. How about lock blocking? This will be interesting. Lock block. Well, clearly it's something that involves not having, giving action. (laughs) 
All but right. lock blocking. Yeah. It has to be like getting blocked because of the lockdown. Oh. Oh, oh I like this. Cancel your rescheduling a date because of new lockdown rules. Uh, yeah, you got lock blocked by yeah. the governor. Okay. Who's using these terms? I am. Every <laughs> day. Like, what, what are we talking about? Are you seriously? Is anyone to... using these terms? Oh, I just, I just, I just zumped my kids. I, 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 I zumped them over doing, uh, over Zoom. I said, I'm done with you. You're out of, you're out of the family. You know what I mean though? Like, yeah, these terms that someone, some idiot decided to make these like some new trendy terms, but is anyone actually using these terms? All the time. Cor- I Corona zoned Danny just yesterday. Oh, I bet you did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, you're right. I've never right? heard. Of, I have never heard of any of these. I've no. Uh, how about on NAMI? It's O N N O M I E on NAMI. Oh, that's got to be eating together or something. Oh, you're close, Rev. It's not eating. It's oh. drinking together online, and I guess it's a Japanese term. Oh, because I was just thinking of like om nom nom. I thought that too, but it's a, I, I, I don't I say I don't know Japanese, so I don't know if on nami actually is a Japanese <laughs> term, phrase, word that actually means drinking together online, or if they made it up, I have no idea. Uh, how about this foda? Foda, foda, and it's not somebody who works on the Today Show. That's what I was about to ask. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> so. Uh, Fear of, I'm guessing, because like FOMO. Good, 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 good oh, call, Foda. Steve. You're fear doing of, good, Steve. Fear takeout? Of, fear of takeout? F- Foda, you said? With Foda a with a D. Oh. Fear of takeout, not a bad. <laughs> fear of. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, T.O., takeout. Oh, I've got photo. I know. I've it. got fear of, uh, photo. It would be photo. Going back to our earlier conversation. Oh, really photo. Fear yes. of doing rumping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid of it. Foda. Hey. Yeah, I get it. All right. Well, that would, I guess it's not based on your face. <laughs> yes. I'm glad you can tell. See, my face <laughs> exactly like told you what it was. Well, Did you just photo fear of doing A? Is yes. it your own, your own Hulk language? Yes. I have fear of doing her. <laughs> well, I do. I have photo. <laughs> <laughs> working what the with. photo? I want the photo. It's a uh, fear of dating again. Oh, shut up! And it, uh, <laughs> I can't. It's my job to speak. Uh, it's, it, it happens to people who haven't been dating since the pandemic began. Yeah. Oh, okay, kind of lost your, you lost your touch. Yeah, uh, it's not a fear of doing her. <laughs> <laughs> I really want Steve to be in charge of the new words they come up with for the dictionary because we will have a blast. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I feel like someone would use my version of photo before they'd use the other version of photo. Yeah, you're probably in right. A, in a sentence. <laughs> All right, try this one. A quarantine ship. You guys can figure this out, can't you? Yeah. You're quarantining with someone else just so you could bang? It's a relationship that started during the quarantine uh, and then developed virtually. So you started basically online, and then you ended up being like best, you know, who knows? And maybe like the cyber action and everything. So that's basically what Vicky's looking for. Oh, like courtship. but cor- A quarantine ship, yeah, because you really haven't seen each other. And then finally, smug salation. I mean, come on, really? This is, this is not a word. Well, you know what the word smug is? When, yeah. when someone's being like basically annoying, like, oh, look at me, I'm cool. They kind of fold themselves. Yeah. This is when a new couple uses social media to flaunt how they're now spending all their time together in person. They're smug salating. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, we really love this, didn't we? Well, my favorite of all those is Foda. I yeah. think I'm going to use that one at some point. Uh, your own Foda? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's what I think. My own version of Foda. All right. Yesterday, we uh, talked about this woman who put Gorilla Glue in her hair. Do you know now she's thinking about suing? Uh, if, a, if a lawyer takes this case, I'll tell you all about this at 817 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. When Atchie is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River, the local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. New on Curiosity Stream. With superior armies come superior weapons. How has innovation mechanized the battlefield? 
from bullets to battleships and everything in between. It's machinery of warfare. Plus, from the gross Ew. to the gourmet, mm. see how that in-flight meal lands on your tray table. On secrets of your airline food, it's all on Curiosity Stream. Annual plans are twenty dollars, just a dollar sixty-seven a month. Visit CuriosityStream.com. Ninety-nine point nine KISW, the Rock of Seattle. Yesterday, we're talking about this woman. You may not have heard about her. You may have over the weekend. Uh, Tessica Brown uh, from Louisiana went viral when she posted a video about how she would used Gorilla Glue instead of hairspray and her hair hadn't moved in a month. She went to the ER on Saturday, but as it turns out, after 22 hours of trying different things to get the glue out, nothing worked. She was discharged and the hospital told her to keep using rubbing alcohol on her hair, but that hasn't worked so now Tessica has apparently hired an attorney, and she's thinking about suing Gorilla Glue. Again, what attorney would take this? I mean, I guess they think that they could get a couple dollars out of it. Because, I mean, I think their argument is like, oh, it doesn't say anywhere that you can't use it on the hair. But it's like, come on. Like, oh, do we need a warning label wow. for everything? It does say that you can you don't use it on your eyes, your skin, or your clothing. But it doesn't mention hair. But, but it doesn't I mention mean, everything. I mean, it doesn't say, like, you know, on your toes. I, I, I mean, a skin, yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, of all things. But, I mean, if you put it in your hair, it can get on your skin. So right. you kind of shouldn't be, wow. We have to idiot-proof everything. If they actually make something happen, here's the thing. You know, it costs about, usually I was told it costs $100,000 to defend, to go to trial with all the Jeez. lawyers and everything. Yeah. Usually that's the cost. So if if she can get something less than $100,000, then they'll probably have to settle, unless Gorilla Glue wants to make an example and say, no, this is stupid. We need to stop these frivolous lawsuits oh. because you know it costs money to defend it, and we'll settle for less. I hope they do. I hope they That would be it. really nice if they did that. Because, look, it sucks for her. I get that. Like, But at the end of the day, you got to chalk it up to you were just stupid. And you did something that wasn't smart, and you're just going to have to deal with the crap that had that happened because of it. But these lawyers, some of these lawyers, not all, obviously, but a lot of lawyers are just willing to take anything. It's a loophole. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the lawyer goes, hey, look, if I can make 50 grand or if I can make 25, 30 grand, easy money, because they don't have to go to trial because it gets settled because they know how much it costs to go to trial. And the companies are like, all right, well, you're going to actually ask us to pay more than or less than we'd have to pay to go to trial. But it's a sucky way to have that loophole be part of it. And it's, it's, that happens so much in our country today, Steve. It's such a drain on the system. Will you ever see something like on like a, a commercial on television or even like on a label of like a certain type of product where it says something just so ridiculous and the first thing you thought or think is somebody did this, which is why now they have to put a disclaimer. You know what yeah. I mean? Because more than that, it's like I'll watch something and it's like, do not use it on this. I'm like, why would anyone want to use it? Oh, probably somebody did and now they have to cover their ass. Yeah, they, they, Gorilla Glue said, look, man, this product is not intended for use in or on hair as it is considered permanent. It is used for craft, home, auto, or office projects. Tessica has also started a GoFundMe where she's already raised nearly $13,000. Who would give her money? Why a P13,000 for what? She's... I mean, unless someone just thinks it's funny to do a go, you know, hey, I donated five dollars to the cause, so they can put it on their social media, being like, I donated five dollars to this idiot. That's so, the only reason why. There's a lot of people wanting to do that if that's five dollars to get to thirteen grand. So this is, this is why there's stupid warnings on things. I had a flat iron once that said, "Do not use on pubic hair or eyelashes." Hmm. Someone had to do it. Yeah, someone had to do it. I am I am shocked that she's raised thirteen thousand dollars for this. What is going on? I mean, <laughs> unless it is... Common. What's her goal now? Now I want to see, like, wow. what is the goal of this GoFundMe? Okay, so it's near... near really, let's see. Oh, actually, it's over 13000 now. Wow. What is she saying? The goal was 1500 bucks, And they, and she's raised thirteen grand. Yep, she's the organizer of it. And what does she say? What's her sob story to get people to donate to this? I would think... I I, there's none. There's no, no blurb. It's just a bunch of dots. No, it's just her picture yeah. getting the treatment that you've seen everywhere. I hope this is actually her... Uh, do you think the bar would just be, I'm stupid, you know what I did, help me out? <laughs> well, it looks like yeah, it's actually her name as the organizer, so it looks like it's actually her at least. Beyond Steve's, hey, I want to be an idiot and give five dollars and laugh, because I get 13 grand is a lot of money. What could somebody's incentive be to give her money? Well, we have the comments, BJ. Oh, I'd love to hear this. Like, <laughs> one person donated $10, said, I spray painted my hair to a crisp and had to shave it off. I feel you, girl. Oh. I spray painted... Why would you spray paint your hair? Another person donated five bucks to say this would be scary as heck. Okay. 
Some people are just using it to share their favorite Bible verses. I don't know. In fact, oh, it's just a thing. Okay. Um, uh, so I tell you a story about some of the crazy, and I thought about some of the crazy things that I've done, even when I knew better, and I prayed for you. Each time I've messed up, I've gone too far, God kept me. He will keep you and restore you. Here's my $10. Oh, $15, sorry. So people are really, uh, like, the, there's a lot of religious stuff on there. I guess it's... Maybe she's part of a church. I don't know. Oh, could be. Well, a lot of people are just like, hey, feel better soon. People need to support people. Donated $20. Ah, all right. Maybe it's a COVID thing. Maybe this is just another way for people to connect and try to be cool to people that have bad stuff you know happen to them. We're a couple dumb and bald guys that never really did much with our hair. And when we did, they were questionable hair choices. There's a lot of women that are donating money because they just feel for her because one person even said, I made mistakes with my hair when I was young as well. Here's 10 bucks. Somebody donated five bucks. She entertained me uh, for days during the snowstorm. Yeah, see? <laughs> so it was that just like, person's hey, look like, at that. Your stupidity made me smile. Here's $5. Has anybody given more than like five or ten bucks? Uh, a lot of them are doing tw- uh, 10, 20, but let's see. Where's the top top donations? Uh, somebody gave $500. Wow. No comment, though, huh? I don't know. I, wow. I'm not able to find that one. It's from $500. La La. $500. From La La. The Teletubby, I guess. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Teletubbies. Well, they they really they know what the hair is all I am about. proud to say, you know, I take a lot of pride in my crew, my 69 Club. Not a single person has donated $69. Thank you, 69 Club. 69 Club realizes it's just a stupid fundraiser. <laughs> yeah. Look, I, I, I guess... This is a thing. I get, I mean, I, maybe people have, that's the other thing is I wondered, you know, now that we've heard about the spray paint person, maybe people use really bad stuff in their hair a lot, and, and that's just a thing. Do you remember when I was a kid and I thought, oh, I'm going to dye my hair, and I try to dye my hair myself. I wanted to be like blonde like Eminem, and man, I, it you turned. Didn't, you didn't use bleach, did you? I did whatever it said to do, but I didn't realize that there was multiple steps, and I just did it once, and it turned just a nasty-looking orange. Yeah, if you have dark hair going from dark to blonde, it takes multiple attempts, but yeah. you can't do them right away because oh. you would fry and lose all your hair. Oh. But I did it once, and after I did it once, I'm like, I don't ever want to do this again. It's so uncomfortable. And then you keep it in for a while, and it's just burning your scalp. Oh. And I remember my grandfather picked me up from college, and he almost didn't take me home because I looked so stupid. He's like, I, His first thing was... Oh, I was looking at that idiot. I didn't realize that idiot was you. Because he didn't know I bleached my hair. <laughs> and he's like, I don't even know if I want to be in the car with you. You look so stupid. I was looking at that idiot, but I didn't know that idiot was you. Ah, I, East Coast love. I couldn't disagree with him. That's awesome. I was like, come on, Grandpa. Put my hat on. Just, yeah. just take me home. Oh, I'll put a right. beanie on. All right, Tessica. Yo, I mean, for 10 bucks, if it brought you great entertainment, I mean, we've, right. donated, we've donated money for dumber reasons. I'm That's, about ready to donate a dollar. Yeah, I mean, I don't, you know what, I can even get, you know, I can even deal with the 13000 because that's people doing it on their own. I just get mad that the legal system is going to be involved, and that irritates me. Right. Yeah. Why, why, well, why do we need the legal system now? She won $1,500, and she's already got $13,000. Why do you need a legal system? At well, this because you get rich. This is uh, your chance to money. make money. And look, I, I get it. I, don't, I also don't even fault her for trying to you know, get rich. I mean, she's going through grief. No doubt about it. This is, this is definitely discomfort. See, I would have hit up Gorilla Glue to be like an endorser. Be like, hey, there's glue as strong as F. Look, I'm an idiot and put it on my hair, and now look what happened. Yeah, that's not a bad. I, I think. Do you that remember would be a good the commercial. old, yeah, the old super glue commercials where the guy would have the hard hat? Yes. Yeah, like yeah. and just like stick it to the beam and just hang there. Like this is the new one of that. So we're gonna take her up to a building and just stick, stick her head to a beam. See how- <laughs> well, I mean, we could do that, but that's not necessarily what we were thinking. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm just. Oh. Well, I want to bring back the old memories. Oh. <laughs> I want some nostalgia here. One well, person brings up the great point. You know, remember, we go back to that McDonald's lawsuit from back in the day. This is why McDonald's puts a warning on their coffee to indicate that it's hot because the woman that sued him when she got burned apparently suing them again for something else i'm not sure if that's true or not well i actually read up on uh, what happened there and it turned out that the woman like they said that oh yeah she was driving with a cup of coffee between her legs but at the time they were serving that particular place was serving coffee at a ridiculous temperature and she uh-huh. was in like she had it on her lap in the car parked while her son or nephew drove and it spilled and it scalded and burned her downstairs area to the point where I think she needed skin grafts and she just asked for help like hey you shouldn't be making coffee that uh, that hot I don't want a million dollars I just want help with the medical bills and I think they only gave her like seven hundred dollars oh that so, poor so that poor woman got she got lambasted over that and that we, we did yeah. not hear all of that info oh no yeah. they did that like a lot of different companies were doing that they started like fake rallying calls against people su- doing frivolous lawsuits but that kind of pushed aside That's always real go to yeah mm-hmm well, you know what, uh, Joe's the Starbucks e- expert. Is there a, is there a, a limit to the Wait temperature? A How did Joe become the Starbucks expert? He used to work there. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
So, <laughs> Joe, is there a certain temperature like you guys know that the coffee has to be at and it can't be hotter? Oh, you don't know that. Yes. Okay, oh, well, what I kind don't... of expert is he? I guess not a great Starbucks. Why is he an expert, PJ? Oh, that's probably why he no longer works for Starbucks. Uh, it, it, so I would imagine there must be now ever since then. It's like, don't let the hof- coffee get hotter than this because you could, it could scald. You know, I, I don't know. That's Or just put the warning label. Caution, hot. Well, you got to do that anyway. I, I think you've got to do that because now they got to put... Which is so weird, though, because like you say, sir, your hot coffee, just to let you know, is hot. But yeah, I guess if I spilled my hot coffee, I wouldn't expect it to scald me where I need a skin graft. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It's like getting, I mean, I feel like it shouldn't be that hot. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe hot coffee is hot enough to scald you. I don't know. I mean, I'm dumb to that. I usually let it cool for a little bit. But usually I sip it and it's, sometimes it burns my tongue. But then I'm the knucklehead that really goes, or maybe I have too hot of a soup. But I don't want something that I put in my mouth to scald me to the point where I've injured myself. Right. I want it warm. I want it. Be, so I feel like there, you know, I don't know. I, got, I want a lot of things. I also don't want my hair to be glued. Mm-hmm. So I just want you people to know that. Speaking of money, though, some people texted about this. I remember we were talking about the Super Bowl quote-unquote streaker guy. Oh, yes. You hear the, the latest thing? I don't know if it's a rumor or not. I might have to fact check it, but it's an inter- interesting one. So, like, obviously he was doing it to, to promote his YouTube porn channel, whatever it was. we checked it, it out. It's a very impressive site. Yeah, he does, he does good work. I, I, I applaud him. But apparently also he put money down on a prop bet on whether or not somebody would streak the Super Bowl. What? And so by doing that, he, you know, by streaking, he won the prop bet. And wait a minute. He made $374,000 because he bet on himself. It was $1,000 to bail himself out. So remember, we were like, hey, what the hell does he get out of all this? What? He got six figures plus. Now I wonder if that's illegal in a word of in the world of gambling. I don't know if it is. I mean, that's that's. A, I mean, hot. Whoa. The rumor also was that I read is that he had a buddy with him who was a distraction. So he, his buddy, tried to jump into the crowd to streak, quote unquote, so that the security would go and dedicate their energy on his buddy. And while his buddy was being his buddy was being handled by all the security because they thought he was going to jump onto the field. That gave him the window of opportunity to jump onto the field and do it. So it was a full-on planned out thing. That is brilliant. It is. If, that, the, the if inter- that's true, that is yeah. brilliant. And I and and <sighs> according to this, so he won the three seventy four, but he bet fifty thousand dollars. So that was what he put in for the bet. That makes sense. But that's, he still made a decent chunk of change. Well, yeah, you got to spend money to make money. And we can't confirm anything, but one global market sportsbook spokesperson said no book in their right mind would take a f- uh, 50,000 limits on that nowhere close. Uh, and other people are speculating maybe he did it across a bunch of that's different what I was bookies. He like, did like maybe 5,000 here. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it, it's not confirmed, but plausible? So here's the thing. That's what, pretty brilliant, if that's true. Yeah, right. What do you do if you're the bookie people? You really can't fault him because he made his bet come true. Right. There's no fine print saying, hey, in order for this to be valid, you can't be the person that did it. I'll tell you right now. If we weren't living in the age of the Internet, that guy's life would be done. Oh, you think like some kind of like well, some, I mean, some, like, oh, mafioso style? Well, Johnny, yeah. Johnny Wackadoodle's going to come oh, visit him. You know, you know, I would, I would <laughs> oh, no, never think, I would yeah. never think of doing that for that very reason, Steve. Johnny Wackadoodle will go. You understand how betting works, right? Right, right. You, uh, you know what? The house always wins, there, buddy. Someone says, yeah, more often than not, for these prop bets, the most you could put put down is about a thousand dollars. So if he went to fifty different places, right. Whoa. If it's true, like I said, I, this, is just, this is just a rumor, but wow. if it's true, that's brilliant. Yeah. All right. I choose to believe See? it. Yeah, yeah I <laughs> want to believe it, too. I want to believe that. Promoted his there. porn company, yeah. Yeah. his YouTube page, and made 300000 well, almost $400,000. And Shit he really didn't crazy. even get naked. No. He didn't even, that's the other thing. Is he he didn't, did have to wear a weird bikini, though. Yeah, I don't think that's streaking though. If I'm the if I'm the gambling people, I don't pay him. Oh, streaking oh, means you, you gotta, gotta be such naked. A rules nitpicker. Yeah. Hey, if I got money on the line, bro. Oh yeah, I feel you on that. Yeah, I mean, streaking to me is you have to be naked, and he was not naked. So guess what? He gets nothing. Good day, sir. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Yesterday, Steve, he got this one right, but he took too many guesses. Thousand Island dressing originated in what country? Oh, France. No. Italy. No. Russia. No. no. America. Yeah. Damn yeah. it. What the hell's wrong with you, pal? I'm I mean, clearly a terrorist. I mean, Thousand Island, that's America, buddy. It's all about America. You want a shot at beating Steve? You got it. 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs. We'll do that at 847 on The Rock. 
Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's another question from a listener. I'm getting my wages garnished. Can bankruptcy help with that? Absolutely. Uh, One of the big reasons people file bankruptcy is because they have a judgment or a lawsuit against them or their wages are getting garnished uh, and so they can't pay their other regular ongoing bills. People sometimes think that you can't file bankruptcy once they have a judgment against them or once a garnishment has started and that's not true. Filing bankruptcy will immediately stop any garnishment that you have going except for child support uh, and stop your creditors from continuing on with garnishments of your bank accounts, your wages, um, and in most cases will discharge that liability uh, through the bankruptcy process. And we can file a bankruptcy case uh, for you usually the day you come in. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. New on Curiosity Stream. With superior armies comes superior weapons. How has innovation mechanized the battlefield? From bullets to battleships and everything in between, it's machinery of warfare. Plus, from the gross to the gourmet, Mm. see how that in-flight meal lands on your tray table. On secrets of your airline food, it's all on Curiosity Stream. Annual plans are $20, just $1.67 a month. Visit CuriosityStream.com.